Alright guys, I actually set the camera so I can stand in front of it and stare at you guys very deeply. This is what we got. Uh, yeah, so there, there's a lot of stuff here. Um, got it all for uh, a really good price. Got it for 500 bucks. Uh, give me a second to look back at the dude's name who actually called it out. One guy actually got the, like, right away, right off the rip, got the exact amount, which is hilarious. Everyone was guessing around the same price. Some some dude guessed 50 bucks, and I'm like, man, I just wish I was that lucky. But, anywho, seven servers here. You guys know these. I've already got three of them in the rack. Uh, this is, and I finally actually looked into the difference. The reason why I got to get new rails for that one, because I actually got three sets of small form factor rails, even though two of mine are large form factor, because they have three and a half inch drives. Gotta get new rails for that. But, so, we got an extra one of these, the DL360P Gen 8. Then there's three of, well, sorry, technically two DL385 Gen 7s, followed up by a DL380P Gen 8. So, the 380P Gen 8 is basically the big brother to the 360P. So, Got two, got, got three of those, and then got three, well, two and one. Then we got three of the DL585 G7s. These had the most horsepower out of all of them. They're still running AMD Opteron series processors, which if you know, they're older, they're, just, they're not the fastest, obviously. But the biggest thing that I don't care about is power draw because I can cover the cost of that. It's not a worry of mine. So, to get this amount of hardware and this amount of performance, RAM and cores versus price, to me it was well worth it. So, I'm going to move these over to a table I've set up. We'll move one at a time over there and then we'll go over each one, what's inside of them, uh, at least one of each generation of each series that's here, and then we will uh, go ahead and slot them in the rack. So, just give me a second. Alright, before we start showing these all off, I'm going to say the person that gets the closest, the exact price, before I actually, you know, before anybody else guessed it, was Slime Gamer C. Good job, buddy. You guessed the right number. Now, let's start showing off all these servers. Alright, guys, we've got the first one here, which is the same as the other three I have, the DL360P Gen 8. A one use server. This is a small form factor, so it comes with a total of eight drive bays. This is a large form factor four drive base, but you can't cram more than four or three and a half inch drives in one new space. I mean, you probably could, but you run out of room for all the other stuff. So, as you can see, it's got four of the drive caddies. It's missing some of the other ones because they pull the drives. Uh, so, these are running dual E5 2640s, which run at 2.5 gigahertz, which I actually like the processors. The slower, but they're great. Inside of it, You've got the bare minimum amount of RAM, 64 gigs of RAM is what each of these has. Well, just this one at least. This is the smallest amount of RAM out of all of these, 64 gigs. It's got a 4 port gigabit card in it, and then it's got a, I believe, a 10 gigabit brocade, or brocade, whatever you want to call it, NIC. So let me top it out. Yeah, you just twist this tab, pops up. This is the NIC. I will come in closer. So, it is just a brocade. This one, this one actually is not. I lied to you. This is the only one that's not a brocade. All the other ones are. Uh, I believe it's just a 10 gigabit NIC. I have double checked, but everything on it says I'm a 10 gigabit NIC and I'm special. So that's the first one. So you take that, slide it back in. It covers it's super easy. This is they're all clean. Uh, all simple, they just got get it lined up. And this comes with the dual 460 watt power supplies. So that's good. I'm working on getting a UPS set up because I have a power supply that just died on me because of power surges. I don't want that. So on to the next one. Alright, here's the next one. This is the DL385 Gen 7. This is the one I have two of. They all have these beautiful cheat sheets on full of information for me because these and the rest of them except for just the one were all a part of a hosting company. It says it on there. I'm not going to worry about removing that because, well, 
maybe if they're still around as a company, but free advertisers. I don't think they are, but they may be. So the information on this, pretty simple, 196 gigabytes of RAM, they're reversing the other one. And that's got the dual AMD, uh, oh, what are these? They're the AMD Octoplex, uh, 2.3 gigahertz, 12 core CPUs, because these are only dual CPU chassis. Okay, so it is rocking all of its RAM. Okay, to grab onto this. That's the beautiful inside. And then the back side here, this it's got, because it's a 2 u one you lift these up, pops out. That's what we're doing with rear IO. So, we've got dual, or we got a single quad core gigabit mix, and dual single port gigabit mix, or 10 gigabit mix. I cannot speak to that. So, this one is the one I actually have the hardest time winding back up, because she's a bit finicky. She's old, she's angry.
The other one's like 360 gigs of RAM. So, got a good amount of RAM. These are AMD Optimum Series processors. Again, four of them, but these are the 6176s. Running at a whopping 2.3 gigahertz, four cores apiece, giving this a total of 48 cores and 196 gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna to try to probably match all of these, either take RAM out of the other one and bring them all to 196, or bring them all up to 300 or whatever, and plus them together and go fast. So, let me, uh, na -na 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 -na. pop this open. Now, we look on the inside here. You may be like, there's not a lot in there. I mean, not a lot, if you don't know these servers. If you do, you know why. So, Inside, you've got this cool little, these are a little bit more in depth. So what you gotta do is you slide, there it goes. Slide this little lever over right here, you pop that up, that allows you to remove your cards. You have a little four port gigabit card. Take that, bang, bang, bosh. Bang, bang, bosh, that's what I said, that's what we're gonna do. Then we have dual, 10 gigabit brocade mix. These are the brocade 815s. So they even have cute little, they even have brocade uh, fiber SFP plus modules. Very, very nice, very, very nice. Well, let me uh, straighten that little lever out. I don't want to go in. And so, there we go. So this is also rocky up to, it's only got two of them, but you can have up to four of these power supplies. I think that's what the upgraded version of these, because you can tell there's a lot more chassis room. These are rocking dual 1200 watt power supplies. These are bricks. These guys are probably gonna chew through a bow load of power and it's gonna make me broke, but that's fine. It's well worth the fun. Now, you may be wondering, I didn't see a whole lot of CPU in that. That's because these are cool like most other big servers. And as you can see, you got your eight drives here, and you have this drive part, you think it's just fans. This ain't fans. Take this, and you also can see the, Depart the Kansas Department of Transportation. I did not steal this, I swear. Don't tell anybody if I did. But, you take this, slide that handle down. Oh, something slides out. That's a big handle. Got a button either side. Press the button. Take your hand, set it underneath. This then comes down. Sets on top. Now, from this point forward, grab, twist, pop, out she goes. And what you're left with now is all your CPUs and RAM. Yes, this is the CPU and RAM chassis. It is filled. Let me jump on over. I will do this for you. There you go. There's the plugs, all the connectors, all the power you're going to need. So, you can see there is handles inside of it. So what you do is you take these handles, pull, and then look, there's your top one. Set that down. This gets significantly lighter. There's your bottom one. That's how you upgrade all your RAM. So, this has got half the amount of total RAM that you can have. The other one's completely filled with RAM. All you got to do, Take these back in there, line it up, you push on the CPU block because that is directly over all the connectors. You need a little extra lever to use the levers. Bing, bang, bosh. This is the hardest part. Bring this little guy in. He doesn't always like proper. That's what happens when you have some metal. So you gotta, kinda gotta finagle a little bit. There you go. He's in. Take it, take it once you, you know, max out this baby. Yeah, take her. Get a little violent with her, I don't think it's going to kill her. Slide it in. Oh. She knocked over. Oh, there, there you go. She's in. There she goes. And you're done. So, we're going to, it's going to be a long video. So, that's that up. Card holder, PCI, the PCIe card holder back in place. You can do it from the back. You don't have to have it open. So, thing may box shut. Anyway, you can see that these have rails. There it is. And I'm going to do some. Don't get dizzy here, boys. Don't get dizzy. 
right about here. There's the other cute girl for you, uh, GPU server. Here's all the rails. That's the glory of all this. It came with all of the rails. So, let me come back over here. <laughs> I'm going to call out for this video because it's probably a 15, 20 minute long video at this point, especially if this one takes longer to show off. Next video, we're going to reorganize a couple things in the rack and slot all these babies in so I can get them off of the workbench because they're taking up a lot of space. They're also really heavy and that rack's no longer going to want to move. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you all for all your comments. I want to hear what crazy ideas people have to run on these. I'm curious what people would think would be a good idea to run on these. Just maybe even to make them scream for the fun of it. Let me know. Let me know if you have ideas or if any other information you want to know. Or if you want to nitpick me and tell me I'm an idiot. Don't worry. I know. It's just going to hurt my feelings a little bit. Not that I have any left. So, without further ado, have a good night, y'all.